Pizza delivery is a scary story about a man who decides to share his food with the family who live in the apartment above his own. A man was injured in a car accident and had to stay at home for a few weeks until he recovered. His wife was working and was not able to take care of him. It was too painful for him to go outside. So he had to spend most of his time in the apartment. For first couple of days it was easy. He had a lot of things to do. But after a few days had passed, he became very bored. One day he was watching TV when he happened to hear footsteps and children's voices coming from the apartment above him. He wondered why the children were home because the schools were not on holidays yet. The next day he heard the same footsteps and children's voices. It sounded like there were two children playing. The next day the man grew even more bored and did not feel like cooking lunch for himself instead he ordered a pizza delivery as it turned out he ordered too much and when he finished eating there was still one whole pizza lying untouched on the kitchen table he remembered that there were some children living in the apartment above him so he decided that they may like a free pizza up stairs and willing to do something kind he decided to take the pizza to them the man had never met the family who lived in the up stairs apartment but he rang the doorbell anyway there was no answer even though he heard someone moving about inside he rang the doorbell again and noticed that someone was peering at him through the peep hole who is it called a faint woman's voice from behind the door the man explained that he lived in the apartment below and had some leftover pizza left from lunch and wondered if the family wanted it The door opened slightly and the man could see part of the woman's face through the gap. He noticed that it looked unusually dark inside the apartment. "Thanks, but we don't want any," said the woman coldly. "Maybe your children would like it," replied the man. As soon as he said this, Two children's faces lined up below the woman's face. The door was open still just a crack. The children stared at him. The three faces were forming a line. Okay, give it to me then, said the woman. A hand reached out through the gap and snatched the pizza box. The man just stood there. The three faces were still staring at him. Then the door slammed shut and he walked away something was bothering him he felt a chill run down his spine the image of the three faces was burned into his mind he walked faster and reached the elevator the faces were forming a line he thought to himself he pressed the button and waited for the elevator to arrive forming a line vertically one on top of the other he pressed the button again and again but the lift still did not come something was seriously wrong the faces he began quickly walking down the stairs faces lined up on top of each other that's impossible
He frantically ran down the stairs. No bodies. Finally, he reached his apartment door, just hands holding up the hats. Safely inside his apartment, the man picked up the phone and called the police. He tried to explain what he had seen. When the police arrived, they searched the apartment upstairs and found the bodies of the woman and her two children lying in the bathtub. Their heads were missing. According to the autopsy, they had been dead for three days. The police found the woman's husband hiding in a wardrobe. His hands were covered in blood, and he had gone completely insane. He kept trying to convince the police officers that his wife and kids were still alive. They found an uneaten pizza sitting on the kitchen table.